Hello, welcome back. I definitely will admit that it is October, but I am adamant about documenting my life in Japan in chronological order. This video, I am going to talk about my winter months in Japan, January, February, and March. Also mostly because I didn't do much in the span of three months, just like, I think I took two trips. So let's get started. The big thing that I did in January was I went with my age at chapter to see a sumo match. It was my first time traveling by myself to Tokyo. I ended up taking the fast train, not the bullet train, just like an express train down to Tokyo. On this train, you don't have to reserve a seat, but if the train fills up and someone does reserve the seat that you're sitting in, you have to give it to them whenever they get on the train. So you might have to stand in the back and there isn't very much space in the back. Like they really want you to reserve a seat on this train. The coloring system is backwards from the states. So if a seat is reserved, the light is green. And if a seat is vacant, then the light's red. And even though it has instructions telling you what the lights mean, it really confused me the first honestly couple times I used the train. They also call them lamps instead of lights. This was my first time taking the train by myself or traveling by myself at all to Tokyo. I was a little nervous that I was going to, not a little, I was a lot nervous that I was going to get lost or I was going to miss a connecting train or something, but I actually managed to do it all by myself, like a grown up. As I got closer to the actual station, I started seeing people in traditional clothes, specifically men in traditional clothes, and it made me wonder if they were affiliated with sumo or were actual sumo wrestlers. Luckily, the stop that I was getting off at was right in front of the actual sumo venue. When I got to the venue, I met up with other people from IAJ and we went in. I ended up staying all day at this venue. I think I got there around 10 or 10.30 and I didn't leave till like 5.30. The big matches started in the evening. So in the morning and in the afternoon, the matches that were going weren't title matches, but they were still official matches. The venue was like empty during the daytime till the title matches started and then people started trickling in. In general, I like fighting sports even though I don't know most things about the sport that I'm watching. I don't actually know the rules of sumo, except you're not allowed to like kick or punch people. And the way you win is by knocking someone or pushing someone or getting someone out of the ring or making them touch the ground with anything but their feet. By the big matches at the end, the whole stadium was full of people. I ended up leaving a little bit early before the end of the title matches because I noticed that the stadium was full of people and all of these people were probably going to leave at about the same time and I didn't want to get caught in a crowd especially on my second time coming back from Tokyo and first time by myself. The sumo experience was really cool and it's definitely something that I would love to see again and honestly look forward to seeing in 2024. So it's snowing. It's snowing. <laughs> Everyone told me that it doesn't snow here, and for the most part, I agree. We got a few flurries, but nothing ever stuck. Except one night, when we did get snow, it melted, iced over, and we got some more snow on top of that. I thought I would film my walk to work just to show the scenery, but the road was so slippery. This is me almost falling and breaking my ankle, so I decided not to. Not much happened in February. In fact, the only thing of note that did happen in February was me starting down the path of addictive seasonal Starbucks drinks. I tried the Starbucks Sakura Frappuccino. It's a cream frap, so there's no espresso in it. It was cute and pink, and it had some like weird little cookie-like crumble on top, and then it had Sakura jelly at the bottom. 
and jelly here is think about like jello except a little bit harder in consistency so it'll hold its shape i also tried some of the other delicious sakura things like the chiffon cake and one of the matcha sakura donuts which was filled with something and i don't usually like donuts in japan because they have like this weird waxy coating but i liked this donut in March, I took a trip with Lauren, Bianca, and Olivia to Tokyo. We mostly stayed in Shibuya. Our purpose for going was really just shopping and hanging out. One of the first things we did after our... <laughs> we... When we went down to Tokyo, since uh, Bianca and Lauren and Olivia and I are from different cities, we ended up meeting up at Mito Station and then taking a train together to Tokyo. We missed our first fast train to Tokyo. So Lauren went to ask if we could get a refund on our tickets or just like move our, just shift our reservation to the next time. And the train station lady said, no, we can't, but we can just hop on the train. But that hopping on the train would be without a reserved seat. So if the train was full and they were full, we would have to stand at the back. Well, we none of us had ever taken this train without having a seat, so we honestly all chickened out and uh, missed our second train. So now we have been in Mito Station for like two hours. When the third train came around, I decided like I wasn't gonna chicken out again. I'm going to Tokyo today, and so I just bought another reserved seat. It was like I think 15 extra dollars, and I was like I, I don't care because I bought a seat. I think everyone else bought another seat. So we spent three hours in Mito Station and finally hopped a train to get to Tokyo. When we got to Tokyo, we were starving. We went to the mall-esque area of the station and ate at this Italian themed restaurant. The food was absolutely delicious. Everything that everyone got looked good. They also sat us in the perfect view spot. We ended up staying all day in Tokyo. We went to the American Eagle there, the Parka building, which has the Nintendo store, and a really nice ballet store because Bianca wanted to pick up some leotards for a class that she was going to try. As for work, the students came back for the last trimester in January and the school year ends in March. There's about a month break between the end of one school year and the start of a new school year. The coming April for me was really busy. I think I did something every weekend. So I would love to share what I did in April in the next video. Thank you for tuning in and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Food like corn dogs or this woman over here just it's like she heard me talking and up and decided that she was gonna start vacuuming and like slamming her vacuum against the wall. I think she does this every time. She does not like me.